All right, here's my aqua view. This is probably the cheapest version you can get for an underwater camera. It's the mini one or the micro. I really like it. I've had it for a year or so now. Um, this is what's in the box. There's the actual aqua view. Um, these are like a weight and then how to set the direction of the camera are these things. I'm going to set it at a horizontal so you can see side. If you put it in straight, it just looks straight down. There's the charging cord, the port, and the cord. All right, so let's get this bad boy going. First thing you'll notice is that it has this because you should attach it to a tripod. And once you have it attached to a tripod, it works much better than just, you know, just sitting on the ground. There's my tripod. It has to have this kind of a screw to screw on. That's what you need. Most tripods have this. So you need this to get your aqua view on. Right here, you screw, put these two together, and just put it on. There you go. Now you got your aqua view on. See? There it is. And then you can stand her up. No, stand up. The next thing you got to do is gauge your depth, like how far do you want to go. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to put this in and see how deep it is and then pull up my line before I even put AquaView down. Okay, there you go. And I'm going to pull up and not reel. I got to go from there all the way there with my line. I like it with a vertical presentation. So I set mine up like this. By the way, this is a weight. This helps this go down farther. You just clip it right on right here. Bloop. And that'll help it go down. You have to slide the cord through this line right here. Okay. And then you set it up. Do you see these three dots? If this dot is at the bottom, see how this is facing the bottom? That'll give you the right orientation. So you want the middle dot on the bottom there now it's in place middle dot on the bottom it's lined up now i want to get my length so i'm going to undo cord until i get the right length okay this is the cheapest tripod you could ever get it's a tupperware and it's i think eight by eight so it fits over the hole it won't fall in i cut a hole in it and then i put two tie things that you get on bread because then I'm gonna tie the wire through it. Now I'm gonna drop it down. I'll turn it on so you can see. There you go. Aqua view. Nice. Do you see this? You gotta line yours up. There's my aqua view lined up so it hangs straight down. You have to run this wire through the side there. So now it'll hang straight down. Watch. I'm gonna put it in bloop this to see if we're lined up all right do you like this this is my cheap way of lining up the wire you just wrap these around it so then when you turn the camera to turn the camera you just turn this it's a cheap way instead of buying a tripod there now i can see my jig you see it it's even a fish looking at it. So there you go, that's the Aquaview Fjord. It's such a cool system. You can just set up a cheap tripod just like that, and then you can end up being catching fish. It's got a good image. You gotta be pretty close. I am probably a little too far between. This is about five feet between. I suggest maybe drilling your holes uh, three feet apart, two feet apart, and then you get a better image. But it works really well. You'll get it under $200. You don't have to buy anything extra except maybe a tripod. You don't have to buy their tripod system. You can rig something up and make it work. Battery lasts about three hours, four hours. It lasts pretty good. So it'll work for you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there, there's the bait. <laughs> That's what was on the camera, people. Oh, God, God, God. Nice. Oh, wow, look at how Oh, no, he's on the camera. No! Get off the camera! Oh wow, you're pretty. Look at you. 
be a baby holy. Thanks for watching the mini Aquaview review video. If you have any questions about it, just uh, ask them in the comment section and I will answer them as best as I can. It's a great way to get started in the underwater camera game. It's like playing video games and fishing at the same time. Super fun. I highly recommend it. And I highly recommend starting with the cheapest model so you know what you're getting into. Uh, it's just easier to use the cheaper models because they don't have a lot of bells and whistles. Push good buttons. See you.